let's do this thing. Today is a day that will live in infamy. A day I have been speaking of for like, I don't know, like two, three months now. Uh, never thought I would do it, but I did. Here I am becoming a makeup guru, doing my makeup for the very first time. I am 23, almost 24 years old now, uh, and I've never done my makeup. I had very, very uh, sensitive, still have pretty sensitive skin, uh, and all through high school I had very severe acne, so my dermatologist actually told me to not wear makeup because I could irritate things more and break out even more than I already was. Uh, will not insert a picture of myself during high school. So, yeah, hopefully I don't end up with massive, massive breakouts after doing this. But if I do, you know, some people do it for the gram, I do it for the tube. I, I don't know, that sounds weird. Alright, anyway. Let's get this video started. I have everything I could possibly need. I have brushes, I have multiple eyeshadow palettes, I have contour, I have powders and liquids and brushes and... I did the math and I spent like 200 bucks on this really dumb video that I'm probably never going to do my makeup again. So have, of course, the most important thing to beauty gurus of tea. Let's just, let's just get this whole, whole fun time started. So I'll let my tea steep. I'm gonna put on my headband because apparently they all do their hair, their makeup with their hair down. Does it not get in your hair? Do you all have, maybe they all just have light hair. So when they get their light foundation and it doesn't matter. But for me, with me and my super dark hair, I need a headband, which, oh good, okay, you can still see it in the camera. I got a cat ear headband. I watched some videos by makeup gurus, and not many of them have this glittery headband with the ears. So I don't know why I thought that they all had cat ear headbands. Maybe they used to, and that's not on trend anymore, but who cares? So let's get this whole thing started. Here in my backpack is, I think, everything. Oh, and then I have my ColourPop box and my other eyeshadow palette sitting on my pile over there. So I've got my brushes, my real techniques. It said everyday essentials on this box. So, theoretically, all the brushes I need are right here. And also a beauty blender, because you can't be a guru without a sponge. It also says prestige performance, so if I don't look super fancy after this, it's all the brushes' fault. I should also clarify, I haven't actually watched any, like, tutorials. I've watched people do, like, makeup reviews, I've watched people try makeup, but I haven't watched or followed any tutorials up to this point. So I'm really doing my best to go in blind, because I think it'll be funnier honestly. Uh, but if any of the products that I have bought, because I really haven't looked at them, I just kind of went to CVS with uh, one of you guys, two of you guys, and uh, bought a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, so if there's instructions on the box, which this one does actually tell me what each brush is for, I can use box related instructions but I can't go on my phone and look anything up. I can't use my computer to go watch somebody like put on eyeliner. Also, I wore glasses, which means to do all of this, I'm gonna have to take my glasses off. So I'm quite literally going in blind for this. But anyway, brushes. I've got, it's just, hopefully this doesn't knock my teeth over. under the makeup this whole time. 
Wow. I should really clean more often. Um, everything in the CVS bag. There's just, you can't see it, but there's makeup all over this table now. Um, my palette from Hot Topic that was, well, I'll wait for it, 10 bucks. So spot. Oh, ow. Look. I'm doing the beauty guru thing. I'm holding things up to camera. I'm a professional. Also got <laughs> my box from ColourPop that I still haven't completely opened. Probably shouldn't have shown that to camera because you can totally see my address. Gonna blur that later if I can figure out how to do that. Anyway, let me, uh, I guess let's just start opening things. Just drink some tea. It's the tea that I usually drink when I'm sick. <laughs> it's my like ginseng extra antioxidants orangey tea so bad memories associated with that tea. But let's see I think first of all what's in the Colourpop box. Let's, I guess open Colourpop box first. My address? No, it just says made in LA. Colourpop. Ooh, my receipt. Don't care about that. They sent me a little card that says thankful for you. I'm not thankful for Colourpop because they made me spend like 50 bucks on makeup that I'm probably never going to use again. I've got the Midnight Masquerade. How do they, do they have like a different kind of camera where it doesn't reverse things or something? Because I swear you can read. Or maybe I just read things backwards. I don't know. Anyway, the Midnight Masquerade Pressed Powder Eyeshadow Palette, which is still in the box. I open the box. This is also a unboxing video, so it's two YouTube related things in one video. Probably not algorithm approved, but who cares? Doing it. I've got, it's so pretty, look at the princesses. Look at all the pretty ladies in their fancy dresses. Hopefully you can see it. I can't actually see the camera the way I'm holding this up, but it's got all of the colors. There's some matte colors, but also some very, very bright sparkly things. Glitters, I guess is what they're called. Um, and they put the names on it. So I know which princess is which, I think. I think. In theory. Anyway, um, I guess I don't need this box anymore, so I'll just also throw that on the floor. Uh, so I don't have anywhere to put anything anymore. In here, I also bought the PR version of the Megara bundle because it has this like really pretty mask on it because it's a masquerade ball and each actually each princess or Disney heroine uh, has their own like PR package bundle with a different kind of mask on it like designed for that specific lady so I got two because I'm a sucker for the obscure ones so this is the mega one it's called zero to hero it comes like look, it's, it's so pretty. I have a bit of a hoarding tendency, and when you throw shiny things at me, I will buy them and keep them forever. So I've got the maybe I don't. Okay, there we go. The Disney Designer Collection Lux Liquid Lip. Don't know what that means. In color Wonder Boy, because that's what she calls Hercules. See, it's cute, and it's very um, ooh, very uh, dark. Like her hair, I guess is what we could call that. Megra's hair over there. And also this little compact thing, which is a highlighter. I have highlighter, guys. In the color Big Tough Girl, which is exactly what I am. I don't cry constantly or anything. I don't know what you're talking about. This box I am actually going to keep, so it's going to go on the top of the pile. I'm a mess. I'm a real mess. I also have the Esmeralda. Esmeralda? Esmeralda? I don't know. 
one which has a different mask because they're customized to the girls and I'm a sucker for Disney and I'm a sucker for Shiety and also for special and this is the Topsy Turvy collection so we've got Esmeralda's color which is I should swatch oh my gosh you guys why didn't anybody remind me to swatch because there's nobody here because it's just me with a camera in my bedroom talking to myself like a crazy person. Anyway, I forgot how much fun these videos could be. Ooh, ooh, that's fun. I don't know how to swatch, guys, is what I'm learning. So this guy is the color, they, they call it Phoebus, guys. Phoebus sucks, I just wanna make that clear. Like he was totally down for genocide until he met a hot Romani. S say I'm wrong. It's very like pinky purpley. They must have their cameras closer. They must have like a little stand that they put it on their desk or something because I'm having to reach really far. Or maybe I just have short arms. Okay so that's the Esmeralda one and then I guess I should swatch the uh oh, I have to keep my hair forward. The uh, Megara one which is they're very similar. <laughs> which is more, how do they do this in like such a long even, which is more kind of a bricky kind of red, so this guy, yeah, is the Megara one, color Wonder Boy, which I feel like, like Hercules was just kind of like a generally nice dude, and then I've got also the Esmeralda Court of Miracles Pressed Powder Blush which is just kind of like a, a rosy pink, and I think... And my camera's already on its last battery leg, so... Hmm. Alright. Guess I gotta go faster. Alright, so what do I start with? Primer. Primer. Pr I know I bought it. It's on the stable. There it is. Okay. This is the... Oh, right, they do like a, like a this thing, so you can see the backwards. The L'Oreal Paris Infallible... Glow Lock Illuminating Primer 130 Long Wear Smooths and Refines Canvas My face is not made of canvas, but okay. Uh, glowing Primer Illuminates and Hydrates Skin for a Glow Finish Oh, wait. I also bought setting powder that's supposed to make you matte, I think, so... <laughs> I guess I'll be medium. I'll be somewhere in between very glowing and very matte. Um, and you might be wondering, why did you get L'Oreal Primer? And why Glow Lock? Because when we went to CVS at like 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock at night, um, it was the first one I saw and the only one on that shelf. And that's why I bought it. So let's break the seal. Guys, it's got instructions. Non comedogenic? Comedogenic? I don't know how to say that. Breathable. Why don't you just say breathable then? Um, pop this baby open. Ooh. It's very tiny. It's like a. This looks. <laughs> I'll be honest. This looks like what I put my acne cream on with, like this tiny little tip right here. It, it's basically the acne cream I just I just open my box of brushes, which I'm gonna have to keep around. Miracle Complexion for Blend Liquid and Cream Foundation. Use dry for full coverage or damp for a gluey glow. Well, I think I want full coverage today, so we're going dry with the sponge. Keep this there sliding down my pile. Um, so I guess, all right, what does it say? Dot onto face and blend in an outward motion for an even all over glow. For targeted glow, tap extra product onto high points. It's got a little picture of a lady's face with arrows pointing to her cheekbones, which I don't have, and her nose. I mean, like, I know, like, in a <laughs> anatomical sense. 
hands. I have cheekbones. But I feel like my face is pretty round. I don't think I have cheekbones like pointy cheeks. But I guess that's what the contouring is for later. So I guess we're going glasses off. I can no longer <laughs> I can't see my hand in front of my face anymore. So here we go. Where's my mirror? <laughs> down the mirror which is not mine I did not buy this this is my mom's I think I don't know it was in the downstairs bathroom so I assume it's hers so what am I doing so I'm dotting onto my face I guess I just this feels dumb guys I have to like try to hold this mirror so that I guess I'm still do I have to like pop a seal in this what the hell oh no there oh oh it's oh it's very pink I am, I am not very pink, so I guess I just kind of, also I did not go and get my eyebrows done, as Carly suggested I needed, uh, to go get my eyebrows started. I did go and buy one of those, uh, or like a little package of those like eyebrow razor things, the really tiny ones, and I definitely cut myself a little bit when I was trying to use that. So I guess I'll just put concealer over where I cut myself. How do you, how does one conceal? What is the purpose? What is wrong with my face? And then I guess I just kind of like, wait, did it say pat or did it say blend in an outward motion? So I guess I gotta do like a, like a this thing. Like a this, this kind of, all right, and that stings. Probably because that's where I cut myself with the tiny razor. I don't get what's wrong with my eyebrows. I get that they're not as like ooh fancy as like some of those gurus, but I like my eyebrows quite a bit. Also, like I don't know why my skin looks so pink and irritated. It's probably because I'm nervous. Like I know I've been like goofing about this but I do actually kind of want to do a good job so I guess should I put some on my eyebrows maybe I should wait I don't really know what order I'm supposed to go in but there we go all right I think I'm primed it definitely feels like there's stuff on my face so we're gonna go with that and I've been going for 20 minutes so here we go all right so I guess after primer comes foundation which I've got also in the L'Oreal Paris Infallible, I guess that's like their collection, it says up to 24 hour fresh wear foundation. Oh, it's got sunscreen in it. Guys, wear sunscreen. Sunscreen's important even when you're brown like me, because I'm not very brown anymore, because I stay inside all the time. It is in color 460 golden beige, also breathable, but buildable coverage. So I guess if I don't put on enough at the top, I can go back and add more I guess I don't really know um yeah I guess we'll do this next um shout out to Nina for helping me pick this one out and if it turns out that I have drastically changed colors since last week <laughs> then uh it's nobody's fault but my own because I stayed inside too much how do they not like all I want to do is tie my hair back I hate having my hair down. It's so annoying. Oh, should I shake it up first? I don't know if this is gonna help anything, but let's. I see them do like this a lot with stuff, so that's what I did. Shake it up. Oh, I, can he I hear liquid moving, so it's definitely liquid, guys. Don't know if you. Okay, and then they usually. This is just like me conjecturing. This. I think that's the right word. They like squirt a little. Ooh, that's very liquidy. <laughs> liquid foundation onto their hand and then they like put it on the beauty blender and then like dab it onto their faces like a that thing and then they just kind of like pat it out gotta hide all my pores can't let humanity know I have skin just gotta hide it this kind of hurts. <laughs> Maybe I'm doing it too hard. It's just gonna be a video full of innuendo. To put on more, I guess? I don't know. What? 
They must like skip part. Maybe I'll edit part of this out. Just put some more on my chin to cover up my chin zits. Although I do have concealer, so maybe I should wait and then conceal. I think concealer is the next step. I'm just gonna drag it down my neck. I did wash my face. I feel like I should, I should have done a, like a mask. I should have done like a face mask. Okay, so there's concealer. Or, no, wait, no, not concealer. Foundation. Are you supposed to clean your beauty blender after each step? I don't think they do. I don't think they do, so I'm just gonna put it back in the box for now. Um, so there, foundation. Done. Does it look okay? I don't know. I can't see it. I can see it in this mirror when I'm holding it, like, really close to my face. And to me, I feel like I look very yellow. Or orange. I look not myself. I feel like I'm a very pale person and I don't look pale anymore, which is probably a good thing. I don't know. Okay, I guess concealer comes next. Concealer and contour or something. I don't know. I'm confused already, guys. So I have actually two different concealers. I've got this, once again, L'Oreal Infallible concealing and contour kit oh it's also contouring okay and then I've also got this Revlon photo ready concealer in the color <coughs> light medium there's no color on this it just says 220 it comes with a pro tip guys this Revlon photo ready stick concealer doesn't this feels like advanced like like, I shouldn't be doing a stick concealer, but I'm going to. And I bought it a couple shades lighter because that's what Jeffree Star does. Basically, I just watched all of the Shane Dawson Jeffree Star videos and then a bunch of Sophia Nygaard videos and, like, a few Simply Neological view videos. And if that tells you anything about my YouTube habits, it's basically just... Sophia Nygaard and Claire from the Bon Appetit Test Kitchen and sometimes Simply Neological. So I guess what I'm supposed to do, there's no instructions, but based on what I've seen people do is they kind of like do like a like a this under their eyes. It seems like a lot, but okay. To cover up those bags because we can't let anybody know that we haven't been sleeping. And then I guess they kind of do like a like a that thing. I think, I don't know, should I put more foundation on my eyebrows. I didn't want to like actually get foundation on my eyebrows, but they do that. And then they kind of take either a brush or a beauty blender again and just kind of like pat it out. Just kind of like do like a that thing. Which, it's blending. But, oh, I totally just wiped the foundation off my zit. Oops. Okay, probably should not have done that, but I guess just under the eyes. I'll have to go back. Can you guys even see what I'm doing, or am I, like, holding a mirror? Okay, I feel like that did nothing. I feel like they look worse now. Are you supposed to let foundation set? Should I have put powder on and then concealer? I don't know. Maybe I should just try this instead. This is why you buy more. Okay. It comes with a pro tip. Use individually or blend and customize like a pro. Well, I'm not a pro, so I'm not doing that. It does come with a pro contouring guide, so maybe I'll contour it. I don't know what order you're supposed to go in. Like, after all of these videos I watched, and I'm still confused. Normally people, like, do this, like, in middle school. Maybe I should have, like, gone online and found, like, a tutorial from, like, Tiger Beat on how to do makeup from back in, like, 2008. I think that's when I was in middle school. Or, like, freshman year of high school, that's when everybody looks ridiculous. But no, I'm doing it now. Front of a camera. Because I am a millennial. That's how I do. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, it's got a little tiny sponge in there. So I guess I just kind of rub it into this stuff. And then just kind of rub it into my eye. How do people... I guess they set it down. Okay, I think I like this better than the stick, although it feels the same. 
It really does. I think it just matches better because it's from the same company. Can't let anybody know that I haven't been sleeping. Hide every fact about yourself. And only let people see your makeup. Like, I, I feel like I'm ragging on it a lot, but actually... Like, I think makeup can be fun. If people like doing makeup, maybe I'll get super into it after this experience. I don't know. But, like, there's nothing wrong with enjoying makeup. I feel like for a couple years, like, right after high school, like, suddenly wearing makeup was, like, a controversy. Or, like, not wearing makeup was, like, ooh, I'm making a statement because I don't wear makeup. But, like, actually I'm just lazy. And have really sensitive skin, so probably gonna break out after this, but maybe not. Who knows? I wonder if one of my brushes would have helped with this. Maybe I should just pat it on? Maybe I should just pat it on. Alright, no amount of makeup is gonna hide my under eye circles, is I think what I'm realizing today. Should I use another color? Should I blend? Should I blend like a pro? Yes. My face feels heavy. I just... I don't know. I'm gonna end up like uploading this video wholesale. All those videos I watched on how to edit are gonna go completely wasted. And I've dropped the beauty blender again. I need more table space. How do people do this? Like for a camera, how do they just like? I guess they're faster than me. Like I'm. I feel like I'm taking a long time. Like you see these people and their videos, and they're just like, bah, 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 and I'm done. Alright, and then I guess I just have to move my table yet again, get the beauty blender that I dropped. Wait, where's the... I guess I put that back. Get the beauty blender. Got it. And put on more foundation onto my nose, because I wiped off where I had it. But, like, I mean, I can see why this could be, like, kind of like a kind of chill way to start the day. But then again, do you really want to do this like every day? Should I put foundation over the conceal? Basically I'm just gonna pile product onto my face until I feel I'm okay. So this is either gonna be really fun or give me a complex. Like I don't have enough of those. Okay, I think I fixed my mistake. Yay, what does the packaging say? Should I have used something? Uh, okay, so one of those is for eyeshadow, which I don't know what I do next. Should I contour next? <laughs> it seems... I don't want to touch my face. I don't want to get makeup on my hands. It's already all over this one. Um, I don't know what to do next. I guess... I guess I contour, but I don't think I have a brush for that. I think I just got... Expert face buffs, liquid or cream foundation for a glowing flaw. Oh, maybe I should buff. Maybe I should just take, what is this one? 400? Okay, then I'm guessing this one, yes, yeah, 200. It says buff, liquid, or cream foundation for a glowing flawless finish. Firm bristles. Sure. So I guess I just kind of like do with this thing? Do I, do I like... Give me a glowing, flawless finish. I feel like you need fairly flawless skin for a flawless finish, but maybe not. What do I know? Never done this before. Well, stuff is definitely coming off, but I don't know if that's a good thing, necessarily. I feel like it's just exposing more of my other skin. I don't know why I keep doing this, but I feel like I've seen people in videos do that, so... I'm just gonna... And I've, once again, uncovered... My zits. I'm just gonna smack my face again. This zit just wants to be like out and about, living its city life, being gross. Just smack my nose some more, put more foundation on, hide all your flaws. Okay, so I guess. I guess next I'm supposed to contour. I don't have a brush for contour for this. That wasn't really discussed. I guess I could just use that sponge again. Okay. So it says Pro Contour, and then it's got a bunch of shapes on her face. Like, 
look. Like, there's just... Oh, wait. Yeah, there. See, there's a bunch of, like, shapes on her face. So I guess I just do that. I don't really know. I don't know. Should I use the Beauty Blender to contour? Maybe? I should clarify that this is not, uh, like, a everyday makeup look. I guess I just have to use the darkest one, so I guess I just take... This is, this, I feel like it's been going okay up to this point. This is where it all goes wrong. Step three, <laughs> contouring. So they, ah, dropping everything. So they kind of like have it going like from here down. Kind of making like a, pretending that I have a cheekbone, I guess. They also do that. I don't really know what that's for. Is that to like find where my cheekbone would be if I had cheekbones? And then they just kind of like take their beauty blender again and like buff it. That did nothing. That just put a streak on my face. That's worthless to me. But I'm going to go back, do it some more. And it's pulling my hair in. <laughs> Normal people must just like, I don't know, not do this every day. And just kind of buff it out. And that's, I don't know, good enough. Let's go with that. I don't know. I feel like I just did something really bad. So I'm just going to brush it until it disappears. And then they also show it, like, on her chin. Pretend I don't have multiple chins. We'll just accentuate the first one and not the second. Okay. Ooh, that's orange. That's very, very orange. Is this supposed to, like, pretend like I have a jawline? Because it, it's under there somewhere, but I like snacks too much to have a real jawline. I also see people draw, like, threes on their face. And then they kind of go in and they do, like, oops. That was lower than I was ready for. I take it and kind of, like, go along their forehead give themselves a forehead or to make their forehead smaller? I don't know what this part is for, but that's a very orange shade. Sure, why not? Looks good. Let's do the fun part. Let's do eyeshadow next. Or should I do my brows? Let's do my brows. So I got this, which isn't L'Oreal, guys. It's All May Brow Styler. Really real brows in the color 030, dark brown. All day wear. I'm literally going to take this off right after I'm done. Shapes, grooms, and fills for natural looking eyebrows. See, here's the thing. I have eyebrows. They're fairly prominent on my face, so I don't understand why I need this. But eyebrows are apparently very important to the beauty community, so I'm going to do it. Oh, wait. Are there instructions? Let's see. Apply to brows in short, upward Strokes. Suitable for sensitive eyes and contact lens wearers. Well, I don't wear contact lenses, but I do wear glasses, which are really just contact lenses that sit on your face instead of your eye. Let's see. Okay. Includes marula oil. Slimmy brush for mistake-free application. We'll see about that. So, no other instructions. It's a pretty package. Smacking it on my hand again like that's supposed to do something. Oh. Oh, this is a screw. Guys, this is... Guys, this is... This is... Look, look, look at this, right? I gotta do this so it focuses. If this is a screw. Alright, we'll see. So I'm supposed to pick this up. Gotta keep my posture. Apply it in short... Oh, this is... This is mascara, guys. This is in short upward strokes. I assume this is supposed to fill in your brows when you don't have any, but I I have plenty of eyebrows. I don't need more of it. Such short upward strip. I feel like I'm just brushing my eyebrows now. Like there's no real point to this. Oh wait, sorry, upward. It's just all that hard work I did, all that stinging I feel because I razored my eyebrows. So I feel like there's, like, nothing on this wand. 
Like it's just like I go in, I can feel it moving around and nothing comes off. Cause there's there's like other I wonder if it's broken, because I can feel other bristles like inside the bottle. I don't know. Let's do it over here too. Look, I recognize that my eyebrows are relatively uneven. But I'm just a normal girl living in her normal world. Who cares about my eyebrows? Not me, that's for sure. Outside the fact that, like, I wasn't about to spend, like, 40 bucks to get them done, because I've already spent too much money on this dumb video. Alright. Do they look any different? I feel like the answer is no. Okay. Why was that so important? Now that that's over with, I guess let's do eyeshadow. So which lipstick do I want to do? Do I want to do Phoebus? Or do I want to do Wonder Boy? Do I want to be real purple? Or like more red, I guess, becomes the question. Ooh. Or maybe I should do eyeshadow first. Yeah. Let's do eyeshadow first, because I don't know how to do. So I've got a bunch of colors. Most of them are pink. Well, there's one blue, and everybody knows how much I love blue, but I have, like, a pinky purple shirt on, so maybe I should use the pinky purple colors. Where's the eyeshadow one? I think this one is the eyeshadow one. Deluxe crease brush. I, I'm gonna assume they mean my eyelash crease, or my eye crease. Like, there aren't already creases all over my face. Okay, so I think what I have to do, based on how I've seen people do it, is they take one really light color, and they do it everywhere, and then they do, like, kind of like a, like a that, like a that thing. On, like, part of it. I don't know. I'm gonna try to do a look do a look but uh this is if it didn't all go wrong with the concealer or with the contour this is where it's all gonna go wrong um so I guess let's take the color pip which I think is the squirrel from enchanted get that on the oh it's powdery wait they usually put primer on their eyes is there like a different primer for your eyes versus your actual I'm just gonna do it with my finger versus like the rest of your skin is the skin of your eyes that much different I think the answer to that is no what do I know so I guess I just do like a that kind of deal get it all up in there okay eyes primed wait where's the is this the lid oh it is okay Oh, there's so much going on. Alright, so I guess I take this pip color, get it on my brush. That seems like a lot, but okay. And then, oh, here we go. There's definitely color. How do you do this and not look dumb? I feel like it somehow ended up in my other eye. I just, just... What I'm learning about this... Oh, wait, my camera died. So my glasses are back on for one quick moment. Um, I don't know at what point my camera stopped recording. I wasn't really paying attention. So here, very quick in this now 45 minute-ish long recording, um, is a recap of what has been happening so far. So I primed, I foundationed, I tried a stick concealer it felt real advanced so I decided to go for this concealer contour palette um, that seemed to work slightly better I attempted to contour I don't think it went well so then I stopped um, I put on more foundation because this zit on my nose keeps coming uncovered and then I buffed somewhere in there I buffed my face this expert face brush Ooh, I'm an expert now. Um, and now... Oh, and then I did my brows. Don't know if you can tell, because I can't. Mm -hmm. Do they look darker than they did before? I feel like no. I feel like nothing happened to my brows. I have plenty of brow on my own. I don't need help. Mildly offended. Um, and so far I've only had to use one makeup wipe. 
I'm just gonna keep going with it. So now it's time for the eyeshadow, and I've decided that I'm going to use the ColourPop Midnight Masquerade Foundation and not my Hot Topic Crystal Grid palette because this is real, real sparkly and shiny. And this guy has a bunch of matte colors. That's right. I know the difference between matte and shiny. I've painted things before. Today I'm painting my face. Wait, is that why they call it primer? Because like you pr you put primer on your walls before you paint walls. So you have to put primer on your face before you paint your face. Which came first? The term painting your face or the name for face primer? It's a mystery. So anyway, I'm going to take my glasses back off now. And I'm going to go... <laughs> everything's blurry again. I'm gonna go continue doing my eyeshadow. I am using the color Pip, which I'm pretty sure is from Enchanted. It's that squirrel, and I'm just putting... wait. Okay guys, what I'm learning now is that I can only wink one eye, and even that I can't do very well, so I'm just gonna put this, I think, like all over my eye. Get up pretty high on my eye. Just kind of get that. Not really trying to do a good job here. Just trying to get color on my face. Oops! Hit my mirror. Can you even still see me? Barely. Um, brush that off a little bit, and then I guess I have to go in with another color. So, I don't know what color I should use. Should I stick with this like brownie kind of color? Because then I guess I can use the Megara. Lipstick, so let's do... It's got a lot of fallout, as they say, in the pan. That's right. I know. Beauty guru terms. Yeah, so let's take this, like, uh... Maybe I should use the Gaston. Let's try... Let's swatch it on my wrist. That looks a lot like the eye makeup, so let's take a little bit of that. And I guess I'm supposed to, like... How do you do- I guess they can wink. <laughs> and then I guess I can just put that like right on my eyelid. Kind of add a little bit more reddish kind of color. I don't know if this is a legit- how do you do this without getting it all over your face also? I don't know if this is going to be a good look, but I think it'll definitely be a look. And I'm okay with just a look for today, but just for today. Maybe I should put glitter on my eyes. Let's do that. I've seen people do that. They put like just a little bit of glitter. So I'm going to use floating lantern. Ooh, or maybe I should just use my finger for this part. Floating lantern, which I know is from Rapunzel. Very sparkly. I can't wink! And then just kind of go in the corner, maybe? Get a little bit more. Try not to make a very Halloween-y look, but just kind of get a little bit of glitter on my eyelid. Okay. I don't hate it. Do I love it? I don't know. But I definitely don't hate it. Okay, I definitely got more on one side than the other. But, oh well. I think that's actually not that bad. I should probably take this brush and, like, kind of wipe off where I got it in places that I didn't want. But that seems, like, not that bad, honestly. Not that I have, like, that much to compare it to, but I feel like it's, you know, it's not, it's not bad. Use a bit of this one, maybe stick it in the corner of my eye. That was a mistake. I got cocky. Yeah, let's just take this other brush that I don't know what's for, and I'm just gonna kinda wipe that away until it's no longer on my face. But I feel like that, it's pretty okay. I'm not gonna put any under my eye. I feel like I didn't do a good job of getting it real high up there. Although usually people will do, maybe I should have done the glitter there. Maybe I'll take some of this one, Mama Odie, and do it like right under the brow bone. That seems to be where people like to highlight. No wait, I actually do have highlighter. Okay. What do you guys think? 
Is it good? Is it not good? I'm honestly pretty proud of it. So I think next, now that I've done my eyes, I'm going to avoid my eyeliner a little bit longer. I think this is actually going pretty well. I don't know what you guys think. Um, and at this particular moment, I don't really care. I'm pretty proud of myself that I don't look like a total clown. I like it. So I'm just going to, I think I can just look kind of wipe off this makeup. Get it off this brush. This brush, this expert face brush. And I think this is what I use for blush. Or is there a blush brush? Oh wait, that big one is the blush brush. So maybe I should highlight and then blush. I think I know where highlighter is supposed to go. I think I can do that. Here's the thing, is if my eye makeup doesn't look that great, I wear glasses anyway. So you're not really gonna see it after I put my glasses back on. It's brilliant. It's genius. This is my setting brush. Wait, you're supposed to use this for setting powder? That seems weird. Anyway, I guess let's do highlighter, which that's the blush. This is the Big Tough Girl. It's a very purpley highlighter. I should swatch that. Can't see it. Well, this is setting. Maybe I should use this smaller brush. I can't see it. Just use my finger then. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. It's like a very pinky purple. I don't think that really goes with my look though. So that's just concealing and con. But it says that this guy comes with a highlighter. Tug to pipe. Ooh, it's for love, romance, and passion. I'm guessing that this like big circle in the middle is supposed to be the highlighter, although it seems like just glitter. But I've, I've heard of like a glitter highlighter, right? That's a thing that exists out there somewhere. So just get a bunch. I don't know. Or maybe, ooh, maybe I can use af apophyllite? Apophyllite? Maybe I can use this little guy as like a highlighter? I don't know. Whatever. Who cares? Let's do it. So I think it goes like right here is where I see people highlight. Like right right there. Do you see anything? I don't. I don't see anything. But maybe I'll just like open my curtain. Daylight's coming. Gotta hurry. Got to hurry. And I'm just kind of like, they do it like right there. A little bit of highlighter. Let's use, let's use the macro one. Screw it. Why the heck not? I want to be a shiny lady. There we go. That's, ooh, that's, that's a lot. Okay. But I don't think it's too bad. Should I also blush? That seems like excessive, but why not? Screw subtlety. I'm not doing an everyday makeup look. I'm becoming a guru. Gurus seem very excessive, so I think I just kind of, okay, oh, that's, that's, that's too much. That's, that's what, that's too much. That's pink. Okay, just kind of like brush it up, maybe? Just kind of, maybe this is why it's so big, because you're just supposed to kind of like, uh, rub it in. Okay, I think I've hit clown status now. I think I did it. Maybe if I just kind of like rub it into my, this way. Or should I, should I use my right hand? Should I, kind of do a look at that thing? Just kind of blend it all together? Maybe, 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 probably not. Probably should just kind of wipe away that highlighter. Maybe just kind of, if I just kind of smush my face around, it will be okay, maybe. Okay, I think this is where my bad idea happened. It hasn't happened so far, but I think that was where it all went wrong. So I think, I guess, <laughs> I'm really avoiding the eyeliner. I guess let's do lipstick next. So given my kind of sparkly darker, I think it's better to use the 
the Megara one in the color Wonder Boy. So it, ooh, that's nice. So it has a little thing so you don't have to like wipe it off. It kind of cleans it for you, puts just enough on in theory, I don't know. So follow-up question becomes, how exactly do you lipstick? I guess liquid lip this time. So I'm gonna, I guess I just kind of like open my mouth and go for it. I know you're laughing right now. I don't know how else to phrase it. So I guess I just kind of like start from the bottom. I don't know why I'm turning my face as I do this. This seems like a bad choice, but... Oh, it's already on my teeth! I'm excited. Alright, this is the part of the video that becomes full of innuendo. How far in do I go with this? Like, how... How far down... <laughs> I dropped my beauty blender again! Like, I don't see them do like this a lot, but maybe that's better. Okay. Honestly, this is probably the hardest part. Maybe I should get more. Okay. Uh, uh, I definitely got it on my teeth. I definitely messed up the lipstick but it is so bright that I that's actually like the one thing I can see clearly <laughs> on the monitor and when everything's blurry it don't look that bad but I think it's time to go back in with a makeup wipe and clean up my lipstick don't want to spread it around just want to clean it up do this so quickly like I see other people put on lipstick and it's just like oof maybe you need steady hands setting powder is peel off the sticker maybe if I can I also haven't done mascara yet but I think if I set everything now <laughs> at least I'll have kind of a look um I'm still not entirely sure what I look like. I feel like I don't look terrible. I think I just look a little bit silly. Which is, okay. It's time for the glasses to come. That, nope, doesn't work. Okay, how do I? It says to lift, but I can't. I have no fingernails. No, do I have like a pen or something around here? Beauty blender. Okay. We're gonna have to speed this up. I've almost almost got it. I use my thumb. Aha! Aha! It only took me however many minutes that took, but I did it. I did it. I got I got the sitting powder. Ah! Everywhere. Um, so I think I'm supposed to like Tap it in here, get some on the brush. I'm not trying to do it precisely, I'm just trying to get it everywhere, so. Tap it in, pick up the mirror. I think I knocked over one of my liquid lips. Yep, I did. Oh, it's in the pot. Okay, I got it. I got it. Then I think I just kind of like put it everywhere. blend everything in maybe I don't, really, I don't really know what the point of this white stuff is but it's going on my face 
cover myself in white powder. Oh, and it's in my eyebrows. Oh! <laughs> this is the worst part. Is doing this powder that's supposed to make me look nice. Okay. <coughs> oh, I definitely breathe. I don't know. Do they just hold their breath as they do this? Like, what the hell? Okay. Uh, there we go. <laughs> she says as she continues to avoid the part that I think is going to be the hardest. <sighs> it's time for the eyeliner. And this is more L'Oreal Paris Ultra Fine Rich Black Formula for the cat eye look. I don't know if I'm going to go <laughs> try to do the cat eye is black as black, all day wear, smudge resistant, smooth and precise. It comes with instructions. Yes! That's what I need. That's what I need is instructions. Okay. I also need instructions on how to open this without destroying the instructions. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. I've been doing this for an hour now. Is this normal? Is it normal for... Wait, what? What is? Uh, ooh, it's very, it's very small. I think I'm gonna have to zoom in. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with my life anymore. This is so dumb. This is dumb, guys. I hate this. Blackest black. Okay. Wait, where's the? Oh, there they are. Okay. So it says maybe I should keep this closed until it's time. It's also a triangle, which feels weird to hold. Okay, so, starting at the inner corner of the eye, draw a thin line along the last line. At the middle of the eye, start to thicken the line, extend past outer corner of eye, and flick upwards. For a more intense cat eye look, extend the line downwards from the inner corner of the eye. So I have to start here and then kind of like thin, 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 thick, thin. Guys, I actually kind of like the eyeshadow that I did. I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> this sucks. Okay. I can't drink any more tea. I'm wearing a liquid lip. I'm going to set my mirror <laughs> onto my tea. I messed up. I messed up. Ah. Ah. That's terrible. It's so bad. I don't know how well you can see my mistake, but like, look. It's everywhere. It's all over my eye. I should have gotten a pencil. I should have listened to Carly and gotten a pencil. What if I do it the other way? What if I start from the outside and go in? How do you even see your eye when you do this? God. I can't see. Ow. I just poked. You guys can't see as I do this either. I just poked myself in the eye. I think I can fix this. I don't think this can be fixed, but I'm gonna try. I tried. <laughs> All I can say is that I tried. I feel like I look ridiculous. I feel like it was going so well and I look stupid. <sighs> you know, it's fine. My glasses will go on and you can't see it. Although, don't my glasses make my eyes look like a little bit bigger? Mm. Eyeliner is stupid. Okay. I guess the last step is my mascara which also says that it's suitable for sensitive eyes and contact lens wearers um and again glasses are just contact lenses on your face instead of in your eyes so basically the same thing clump free flake free smudge free Place brush at base of lashes and gently sweep up to tip. Removes easily with soap and water. First ingredient on here is water. 
So I should hope water comes off with water. Well, it actually says never apply this product in a moving vehicle. Okay. I don't even, I don't even see the point of doing this anymore, guys. I messed up. I messed up. No, makeup is stupid. Hold on to this. Let's do it up here. I feel like I can zoom out now. Just kind of see them wiggle it. Ooh. Maybe I'll just make my eyelashes so big that you can't see my eyeliner behind it. Ow, ow, ow. I touched my eye. I touched my eye. How did they get it like. Oh, I guess like that. I was gonna say, how do they get it like on the inside of their eye lash without? Okay, comparatively, I feel like my eyes do actually look way bigger. Um. Oh, it's definitely like in my eye. How do they? They kind of like do like a like a this. Oh, maybe they rush down. I never really paid attention to them doing their mascara. They usually do it really quickly. They, I mean actual beauty gurus and not me who's just doing a goof. The main reason why I didn't get a pencil is because anytime I see people online use an eyeliner pencil, they also, like, eye li they line, like, this part. Like, the actual, like, inside of their eye. And that looks incredibly painful. Like, why would I want to put pencil on my eye? Okay, I think that li eye is lined. Or lashed. Whatever. mascara So let's do this one. Good enough, good enough. Okay, so looking in the mirror, pre-glasses. Pre Let me zoom back out. Nope, that's zooming in. Okay. I don't know if I zoomed out too much. I don't know. I can always fix it later. Okay, so looking at myself in this mirror, I was pretty okay with everything until I got to the actual, like, black stuff on my eye, to the eyeliner and to the eyelashes. Although I feel like the little, like, lines that I did at the end are actually, like, kind of even. I'm pretty okay with that. But, um, yeah, I got mascara everywhere. My liquid eyeliner did not go well at all so I'm gonna take off my headband I'm gonna shake out my hair and then I'm gonna immediately put my hair up because like how do you live without like your hair just sticking to stuff I don't think honestly I did that terrible a job for my first time ever using any of this I think I did pretty okay, so I'm gonna put my glasses back on and I'm gonna see how it looks in the camera. And we'll see <laughs> at the end of this hour and 14 minute long journey. <laughs> it is, I started like, yeah, I started right around noon and it's now almost one, so I wanna go eat some lunch, make myself a sandwich. I also, I have this like somewhat irrational makeup fear that like, I feel like I can see my eyelashes. Uh, not that. That, like, I'm gonna put my glasses on and I'm gonna get mascara on my glasses, which seems ridiculous. But there you go. Let's do it. Okay. No mascara on there. Yeah, see, you know what? You can barely tell that it's, that it's really messed up. I feel like I look like my mom. Is how I feel. Um... Should I, like, zoom back in? Should I have, like, a close-up? Should I do, like, a narcissistic montage of, like, ooh, look at my beautiful face. It's so amazing. I'm putting hair over my mic. I'm sorry. Um, I guess, yeah, let's, let's do one last zoom so we see how everything looks with my glasses on. I feel like I actually kind of matched my lip color to my glasses, which is pretty fancy if I do say so myself. So let's, that's the wrong way. Wait, what is this? Is that... <laughs> is that the eyeliner? <laughs> I think 
think I got eyeliner. But yeah, look at this. Look. Look, there's my eyes. I feel like you can't even tell that I messed up my... Maybe you can now that my eyes are like fully closed and I'm like face first in the camera. I feel like I really messed up, but with my eyes closed, I feel like you can't even see that I put stuff on my eyes. You can definitely tell that I have lipstick on and I feel like my face definitely looks smoother. But actually like to the camera, it doesn't look as yellow as it does to me in real life. I feel like I just look kind of like a little bit airbrush I'm gonna zoom back out a little bit. Nope, that's zooming in. But yeah, so there we go. That was... Also, you can't tell that I've put anything on my eyebrows, I feel. Right? Like, this is... My eyebrows look the same. But here it is, my finished makeup look. I turn towards the camera and you can't see my eyes, so that's the ideal. Or I guess towards the window. So there we go. There is me doing my makeup for the first time. I'm pretty proud of myself, to be perfectly honest. I feel like I did, up until the eyeliner, a pretty good job. I'm really proud. And honestly, despite <laughs> the eyeliner disaster, which I, I can tell it's there, I can 100% tell it's there, but I feel like maybe from far away nobody could. Despite the eyeliner disaster and the kind of mess that I did trying to put on liquid lipstick for the first time, I'm pretty happy. I had fun. I think this was a good time. I think everything that I thought would happen while making this video pretty much happened. I didn't understand how to highlight. I don't understand how to contour. I'm still pretty confused about all of this. I, I can't really see the blush that I put on, but I feel like that's the point. Um, so yeah, I think my, I think I am going to do another video on makeup. I think the next time that I do it, I'm going to try and do a Hex Girls look. I'm going to try to do my, um, character from Hex Girls. I found a top that I think is going to work for it, so I might order that on Friday, and then maybe next week, although wait, is next weekend foundation dinner? <laughs> Okay, maybe not next week, maybe the week after. So it might be a late Halloween treat is to see me try to do my Hex Girls look because I do have this fantastic green lipstick. It's, let's swatch it. Let's do one last swatch for the road and see. I think, honestly, I was planning to take this off like as soon as I was done, but I might just leave it on all day. I might just, guys, I think I like makeup. I didn't hate makeup before. I want to make that perfectly clear. Like, I didn't hate makeup. I didn't think doing your makeup was dumb. I didn't, like, bag on anybody for wearing makeup. It just wasn't, like, a thing that I was into. Um, but I think I'm into it now. God, here comes another thing that I can collect. It's, like, lipstick. So let's put on this green lipstick on my, ooh. Oh, that's green. Oh, that is green and shiny. So I think, <laughs> and this is a lipstick, so it'll be a somewhat different experience from putting on the liquid lip. Um, but I think this went really well. I think this was fun. I hope you guys had fun watching me struggle. Um, oh, and there's the swatch of this, like, bright green, like, I don't know what color this is called. It's called Serpentine. Ooh. Wait. Like, Slytherin. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I think this was fun. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did watching this. Um, yeah. So let me know what you guys think of my makeup look. Like totally honestly, do you think I did a good job? Do you think I should have actually gone and got my eyebrows done? I'm really happy. <laughs> I'm really proud of myself. Um, but yeah, I guess I should like throw out all those YouTube things now that I'm a guru. Um, so like, subscribe, ring the bell for a notification from when I do my next video, probably next year. Um, making videos I think is going to be fun for me again, so I might do Chick Flickuary again next February. Ooh, tell me what Chick Flicks I should watch next time. Maybe I should finally do the deep dive and watch Titanic. 
I've never actually seen Titanic, but I feel like I should. Um, maybe I'll do a Titanic inspired makeup look. Ooh, I don't even know what that would be. Dead. <laughs> icy. That would probably be a better one. Is icy <laughs> over dead. Um, but yeah, I'm. Guys, I'm so happy. I think I did a good job. Don't ruin this for me. If I did a really bad job, don't tell me. Because I'm really happy with it right now.